So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions and you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new trading tutorial. So, in today's video, what I basically have for you guys is basically my new go-to method. So, uh, the Shadow Method is uh, is being put to the Shadow Realm and uh, we're on to a new method that is basically now my new favourite. Now, it is practically the exact same as the Shadow Method, but it w but it is with Hunter Midfielders. AKA midfielders with Hunter on them. So first off, let's go and set the filter and then let's then go talk about what you're gonna buy. So first you're gonna set it midfielders. Really weird glitch in this game. If you were to go set it to hunters and then switch to midfielders, it'll get rid of the uh, hunter. So to save yourself time, always set it to midfielders, then set it to hunters. You're then gonna put maximum buy now 9.9k. Now the reason you always do this is because a lot of people just openly list their cards for 10k buy now. Um, and the majority of time, obviously, if something is 10k by now, it's not going to be a deal. So, we're not looking to buy that. We are then going to go and set the, um, what's it called? We're then going to set the minimum buy now to 1k. The reason I set the minimum buy now to 1k is good luck winning any, uh, gold cards with Hunter on them for under a k. Maybe for an Xbox One, PlayStation, it just would not work. This method does work on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. PC, you've got to always understand, guys, that you have 10 times less cards on the market than we have on a PlayStation. You've always got to be very, you know, you've always got to be more patient, because in theory, that's your own one in 10 deals that we're having. It's not like this method doesn't work, it's that every method is going to be slow on PlayStation, uh, sorry, on PC. Method works extremely well on Xbox, I've been doing it for basically the last week, which is why I've now decided to make a video, because it's just way easier to explain to people how to do it rather than uh, go for it every time. So this is going to be the magic number that is always going to be changing. That is maximum price. Now let's go and start it at a K. Just like shadow sniping, you want no more than one card over an hour. So let's go set it to a K and see what pops up. So I'm going to scroll to the end. Okay, I mean, there literally is only one page. Perfect. I don't know. There you go. Perfect. So we want to have the highest by an hour. So 1K works. Brilliant. But what about 1.1K? To quote um, Oliver Twist more. Is what you want. Nope. All right. What about 1.2k? How's 1.2k going to look? Sorry, 1.1k works. Okay, 1.2k is absolutely flooded. So let's go down to 1.1k. This is not always going to be the parameters. Okay. As I said, 1k minimum buy now, 9.9k maximum buy now is always going to be the parameters. But the parameters that are always going to change is going to be this maximum bid. So it might be 950 when you guys are looking. It might be 800 again. The main thing you can have no more than one card over an hour. So that's one card or zero cards. If there's more than one or zero cards over the hour, lower the maximum bid. Okay, so the second thing you're going to be doing is you are going to be searching. Now, I guess I really haven't explained too much about this method, but basically what you are doing is you are trading with gold cards uh, with Hunter on them, obviously if you're a midfielder. And now the relevance of searching midfielders over attackers is attackers are so oversaturated. I use the example like, I don't know, we'll use the example. Uh, let's say, all right, let's say you've got a pair of running shoes, right? Let's say everyone in the world wants a pair of running shoes. And, you know, therefore there are, there's enough running shoes than people who want running shoes. But let's say Yeezys, you know, they only release, let's say, 5,000 Yeezys or whatever knows. Even though more people in the world would prefer running shoes over Yeezys, there aren't, you know, there are way less Yeezys to supply the demand for Yeezys, and as a result, they're super expensive, right? They're super expensive even though, arguably, they're less practical and less demanded than running shoes. And what this is, is that even though midfielders are less demanded uh, than strikers with Hunter, there are so many Hunters applied to the strikers, and as a result, they're just, you know, the, the demand is, is, you know, this, basically, the supply is there to match the demand. Whereas the amount of people looking for a Martial in centre mid with a Hunter does not equal the uh, supply of Martial in centre mid with a Hunter. And because of this price, you know, difference between supply and demand, it basically allows you to pick them up on the deals. Now, obviously, in midfielders is really good because you can get strikers who've been converted under centre mid and cam who actually sell where they don't sell in striker. You've got left wingers and right wingers being converted. That literally costs you about a K to move them from left wing, right wing to left mid, which is really good. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, that's about all she wrote. So uh, you can see right here, like, there is a Correa being listed for no more than like three, four hundred coins more than what he is as a striker and a hunter. And to move him from a striker to a semi may push about 6k. To apply the hunter chem cell costs another 3k. So uh, it is insane. Now, what are you buying? Uh, when you are doing this method, you are ideally buying them for no more than 500 coins more than what they are without all the, you know, all the, uh, all the stuff on. But what you will learn via trial and error is just what players sell for. I say, they begin, when people ask me about Shadow Method, they go, well, how do I know what to buy them for? Really, it's a game of trial and error. Nice rule of thumb, no more than 500 coins more than what they sell for without a hunter. Um, this, you know, this basically allows you to eliminate the, uh, the chance of using coins. Um, yeah, I mean, the midfield is really good because all the guys who don't sell are normally strikers. So, no matter what you kind of buy midfielders, it's normally quite hard to lose coins because, again, they're so rarely put send mids on them. Let's go and buy this Correa. Now, that's not running by rule of thumb. Uh, I just want to use him as an example. Um, so, normally, I'd only recommend pay maybe up to 1.5k. You know, 1k for his base guy at that 500 coins. Sell him at 1.5. Let's go and show you guys what Correa goes and sells. I bought him at 2.3. I'm... Almost sure he's not a good deal. I just again, wanted to show you. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do you know what to list players for? Um, I would always recommend list the like, you know, list the whatever it is where there's a page of them on the market. So don't list for the cheapest. I don't know what the cheapest is going to be with him. So the cheapest is 2k. I wouldn't go and list at that. In fact, what I would do with that, if there was none on the market all the way up to like 2.7k, I'd go and buy that one for 2k. There you go. Because if there's none on the market, if there's one on the market at two and none on the market up to 2.5, well, I'm just going to buy that at two and sell it at 2.5. It's nothing crazy, but it will one help my initial card selling on, and two, it'll give me some extra coins. So we've got like 2.7, but again, as long as you're in no hurry, how it kind of works is the more hurry, the more of a hurry you're in, you are in to get coins or to get players off your transfer list, the cheaper you list them. But the less of a hurry you are, the more you sell them on, I guess, a quote unquote lazy buys. But there we go, he's, he's up to 2.9. 3k. All right, so maybe I'll start looking at the listing. Now we're, you know, we're starting to get a fair few more on the market. About 3-1. 3-1, you can see each time there's more and more on the market. 3-2. Uh, do you know what? I'd probably go and list them. I mean, I'll be honest with you. He, he would literally go and sell at 3-2. I'll go and list them up at 2. To both of them there for 3-2. So, I'll be honest with you. I didn't think they were originally a buy. But you can understand there's about 7k worth of position changes. Then another 3k worth of um, doobie doobie doo something. Hunter. So there we go, you're going to get about 700 coins after tax on that one. And this one that we literally just picked up while searching the player's price, we're literally going to go make over a K on him. So very, very easy. Now something I do to make this a little bit easier, and something you, well, I do, which allows, I guess, you guys maybe do this on the web app, is uh, I just go and write down all the players that I buy and sell. So, for example, I know that I can go and sell a Martial in centre mid with a Hunter for 2.9k. Because I went and sold them on yesterday. And when I sold them on yesterday, I went and wrote down that I sold a Martial in centre mid with a hunt for 2.9k. So, let's go have a little look what he's going for this morning. Okay. So you can see, there we go, that data would have been correct. I mean, you know, the cheapest in the market is three. Let's check another one. Uh, another one I went and bought and sold. Do I sell comedy? Lucas Mora. A Lucas Mora with a hunter. We went and sold on, sold on, sorry, for 2.6k. How's it looking more looking this morning? Yeah, again, the same sort of price. But what you can do is you can just go through this list of players one by one by one by one. Do you know that uh, Martial was sitting in the market when we were just looking at him? You'll get the exact same when, uh, you know, with other players. So as long as you have a little bit of data on what these players sell for, you should be all good. Uh, there you go. So Yao Felix, yes, they'll flip on for 2.7. Uh, there you go, go and buy them at 2.1, go and sell them at 2.7. Very simple, very easy. You see, I'll sell them on pretty fast because there's only two others on the market and mine is still the cheapest. Uh, what do you want? A little look at the old Sabitzer, why not? So, bit, so the bigger the price difference between what they are with and without a shadow, the better. Alright, so Sabitzer went and sold on for 2.9k with a Hunter yesterday. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I mean, right now, I would probably struggle with selling them on for 2.9. I think I'd get 2.7 way, 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 way easier, but... Still no deals on them, because there'd only be 300 coins. But that is going to wrap it up. As always, uh, I'm always streaming, so you can just come in and ask me questions. In fact, when this video is being uploaded, I'm literally doing a 0 to a million coins in one stream. So, uh, yeah, do feel free to head over and uh, pop in and, uh, I don't know, watch, the, uh, watch that. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with, hopefully, an upload of 0 to a million coins in one stream. So, basically, I start the stream, I don't end the stream. 
until I hit the million coins.